Well, I hope everyone's having a good day and everything. I know it's a good day here because uh, we've got the stick shift car actually running good now. I thought it was a computer originally. That didn't turn out to be the case. I got my timing light and I checked the top dead center where the camshaft is and it was off by I want to say a couple teeth so it was not running right but we are in fully closed uh, uh, loop right now sitting here um, we're going to go for a little bit of a drive go through the gears and uh, we're going to make this little 2.2 perform like it should so without further ado enjoy the ride guys i will try to keep my mouth shut but this is probably gonna be the last drive for 2020 we will return in 2021 with some body work and a bunch of stuff but with all a farewell to 2020 for this car we're gonna make her go don't mind the squeaks and squeals because uh that's just the normal nature of a car that's so stalling anymore either so I got it timed right in the head. YouTube, I uh, don't own the song, so you can suck a dick. So yeah, that all works good. Just set. work on it and you can see the windshield's cracked all to beat the band. But yeah, for a car that sat around for five years in the backyard and three years after that in the backyard and then got on the road maybe a couple of years ago. It's come a long ways. car where the throttle is like instant you have to like flip it a couple times in order to rev match because my 
garage, we don't just let the clutch out when it's time to shift, downshift. It's install. advantage of timing them one tooth ahead you get a little more torque down low uh, I don't recommend doing it on a turbo car though because you run the risk of uh, leaning them out but as you can see this thing this thing pulls really strong it sounds mean too <laughs> it's a load of fun to drive sucks the most of our stuff on the automatic uh, they're gonna bog like I said, I still got a little work to do to it, but... 